If that officer who killed Philandro Castile has no punishment, and we don't have any changes made to our police, and we all just basically collectively go, ho-hum, there's nothing we can do, there's no point in talking about or trying to do anything about the corruption. Or we figuratively go, la 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 la, with our fingers in our ears, and do the same with Hillary, with the FBI pushing that charges shouldn't be filed because, because intent! Intent, okay. And they admitted that anyone else doing it would be in prison. And yes, I get that Bush deleted a shit ton of emails too, but the difference here is everyone with a brain mixed with empathy hated Bush, and the focus on the hate was mostly on his bullshit war. But uh, if, if besides already being in a culture of lies, we continue this route of political correctness, which is usually about stretching truths and or flat out lying, and we continue this like we have to the point of destroying our productivity in almost any field, then we are a shit culture whether there's little pockets of goodness everywhere or not. I hope that we aren't actually a shit culture, but my hope is probably going to be dashed. I hope that we eventually do the right thing. I've talked about many other cultures and the things I think are negative about them. Well, how about our culture? The culture of lies? The culture of, as long as it sounds good, it is good. This isn't to say that if it sounds bad, it's reality, or that it's good, but sometimes sounding good is not necessarily an indicator of its level of goodness. And when we become immune to frivolous things, like, you know, first world, useless ideas, products, materialism, when we become immune to those things being artificially propped up and consumerized, what will we become as a country out of our actions? What happens when commercials and politicians have us to the point where no amount of good wording makes any difference anymore? Well, that's when people revolt. If that officer receives no punishment, and we don't have any changes made to our police, we should expect a revolt, and potentially bigger than any in recent history. People are not going to tuck their tails between their legs on this. If that officer is not charged, if that officer is not charged, the things that we saw in Dallas will very unfortunately most likely only be the beginning. Sadly, we are living in interesting times. With interesting times comes turmoil, sacrifice, misery, and chaos. I wish human psychology was different than it is. I wish the powers at B were different than they are. I wish the human condition wasn't such a destructive and painful force at times, but wishful thinking in that way is just some sort of escapism fantasy. I wish there were many, many more pockets of goodness, but we have to enjoy what goodness we do get.